what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back we're here with some more west world yes sir uh we know what's going on man our girl mave is on a mission i don't know what she's going to do now with all of this intelligence that she's being programmed to have i don't know what she's going to do but we're definitely going to find out at some point we got um what's her name <laughs> every time i think of her name i'm actually like tempted to call her um eleanor <laughs> from black sales because the characters kind of reminds me so much of each other of how they act during the show um they don't look alike at all <laughs> i don't know why i always remember eleanor um for her name and i'm still drawing a blank with her name but as i said as the show go along i will get used to these names i know black sales first season i just wrapped that um jumping into season two but you guys are not gonna see that until next week <laughs> i know y'all don't know that yet but hey season two is not starting until next week okay um I do have a couple episodes to upload, but I'm not releasing them until next week. They're going to be on early access. I've already done them today. But anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in as always. Let's go watch the episode, man, because some stuff going down in Westworld. I don't know what's going to happen, happen next. I mean, I, who, Ed, ha Ed Harris is character. What's his name? <laughs> I don't think they've ever said his name. I think they said his name one time of his real name in real life. It's a, you know, big time rich dude. Even though it's you know it's only rich people that really goes to um, the, the the park, anyways. But this guy in particular, like they know know him. You know what I'm saying? Like he's well known. You know, you have a lot of rich people that you don't know. You know, he does know. You know what I'm saying? You just people sometimes just pop up in on the scenes like uh, this guy is is rich. <laughs> just like you know, there's so many rich people in the world that you know stays under the radar. You know, you know it could be because they don't have something that's in the public really. You know what I'm saying? It could be, you know, they could just have have oil. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It could just be oil tycoons. There's a lot of oil tycoons that the rich billion billionaires that you you don't really know you don't hear of them because they they extremely low-key people so in any case let's jump into this reaction i'm excited hope you are too let's go i didn't think for a hot minute that this show was gonna go up another level and it did i don't know what happens in later seasons of this show but i can tell you this i know a lot of people have said oh they've enjoyed you know the first couple of seasons and then it went to crap or whatever and I always say this when it comes on to my channel. Let me see for myself. You get what I'm saying? Let me see for myself. And if the quality of the show drops, if the storyline doesn't make any sense anymore, I am going to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? I.e., I can give you guys an example. Season 5 of Vikings was absolute trash. It was trash. You get what I'm saying? And now they're trying to finish out strong. So I'll give them props for that. You gotta be... You know what I'm saying? I'm not one of those reactors out here that reacts to shows and just, you know what I'm saying? I know people don't like when you tr trash their their best shows that they enjoy or they considered to be some of the greatest TV shows of all time. They don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, give you guys another example. The Walking Dead. A lot of people did not like season eight. You get what I'm saying? A lot of people did not like season 8. They came back for season 9 and 10, right? Um, because of certain things that happened. Don't want to spoil anything if you haven't watched the show. But season 8 was a very weak season. Mind you, I didn't give it a high score. 
for my season ratings. I didn't give it a high score, but I can see where people come from. But let me see for myself. God knows if I watch, well, I'm not going to be one, uh, one of those channels that is just like, you have some people who said that Game of Thrones season 8 was good. I'm like, what are you watching? You can tell the people who, en who enjoy storyline over the people who just want to be entertained, okay? I want to be entertained and enjoy a good storyline. If you break that storyline, you get what I'm saying? Or break that story into a narrative that doesn't make any sense. I'm going to call you out for it. I'm not going to sit there and be like, ooh, dragons. You get what I'm saying? The story got to make sense. It's not, I'm not a child. I'm not going to get excited because you have pretty dragons on screen. You get what I'm saying? The storyline of season eight of, of Game of Thrones was absolute trash. It was terrible. You get what I'm saying? So for me, if you want to see my review, you can always go watch it. But for Westworld and for me being here, episode seven of Westworld, blew my mind it kind of reminds me of of dark season one episode i think it was episode four that just blew everything off the angle and it just super exciting stuff right storyline still didn't make any sense for dark but it still kept my interest because it was like it's like this for westboro like you could have never told me season after all this time you could have even in the beginning of this episode somebody had said yo you about to find out that bernard is a host did i i wouldn't believe you i would believe i would i would say you're trolling me that's that that's what i would believe i would believe that you're absolutely trolling me at this at that point right but it turns out he is a host and i'm telling you the clues were there before when he when he said what door i was like what do you mean what door she's showing you the damn door and even before that he was saying even if this cottage was literally in front of you you know what i'm saying and for him to be and for ford to to to, to be able to control them Man, his voice commands are, uh, are ridiculous, bro. Because I don't know if it's tone that he's using. Because remember, Bernard was in the cottage before. He found out about the unregistered host, right? He found out about them. He was in the room when he, when he froze all of them. He was in the room and he didn't freeze. So it's got to be something. He, he, he's got to be something about his voice and his voice commands that he's able to individually control a room ra rather than controlling just one of them. And there's gotta be some subtle things there that I haven't picked up on yet, but man, we got Maeve, she wants to get out. We got Dolores and William getting together. I'm all for that. I'm glad that he's found something because it's obvious that what he was going to marry into is not really what he wants. He was very skeptical of it. And I'm not saying that, you know, dudes should go out there and, you know, do stuff like this. But if you don't truly love someone, you should marry them. You get what I'm saying? And if you don't truly love them, you know what I'm saying? I don't think he was in love with this woman. I think he was like, he was just doing it because he wanted to be in that upper echelon of, you know what I'm saying, status. I think that's what he really wanted, he, as he described when he was talking to Dolores at one point. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know where they're heading. I, I don't know. She was a prototype that he made. I, I, I don't even know. Why was Bernard having these conversations with Dolores? I, I, I think this whole time, what that was Ford telling Bernard you know what I'm saying? Letting Bernard invest, talk to her about some things um, and to tell her not to tell anyone that this whole thing is under his control. And he's like, you think this is the first time that they've tried to out me or to kick me out? They, they, they won't do nothing. I'm that nigga. You know what I'm saying? And I don't. the thing about it is that Ford's character 
it's not a scary character he, he doesn't scare me and for some reason I find myself rooting for him because I don't know how dangerous he is other than the fact that you know this I don't even I don't know what to think about Ford at this point I don't want to be too much on his, on his side you get what I'm saying they tried to kick him out of his his own stuff and he decided to, 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 to kill her I mean that's bad but we don't know how far he will go though like you know I, I don't know bro I don't know I'm pretty sure he has somebody on that board bro that's a host he has to have somebody on the board that's a host can you imagine that this whole time Bernard bro that shit blew my mind bro I'm done I'm done. I'm going to go watch episode 8. I'll see you guys for the next one. Leave a like. <laughs> leave, leave a like. Guys, comment on the videos. God damn it. You know what I'm saying? Comment on the videos, man. You guys are, are, are lacking in that area. For me, watching a new show and not getting comments for Westworld is, is, is ridiculous. Like, it's season one. I'm not getting no reaction from you guys on the channel. I'm, I'm, I'm be straight up honest about that. Like, I feel like I'm just watching the show for me. I can do that on my own. And I keep saying this on the channel when you guys don't comment. It's like you're waiting on something exciting to be. I need to eat. I, I get it. Nothing exciting being happening so far. But I've asked a, a lot of questions during episodes that I don't see no answers for. You guys not even trying to ask me. Or you're just not watching my reviews. But in, but in any case, I need to see some 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 comments for this one. We need to light it, light it up. Light it up. Light it up. Even if you don't comment, I need to see some for this because this episode was crazy. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much. You already know episode 8 will be on early access until next week. So if you want to see episode 8, consider joining the channel. It's only $2. Hit that join button. Let's get it. I'll see you guys later. Peace.